this is Azura and this is where I'll be sharing about motherhood, tips and tricks, uh, baby products review and also about lifestyle and in this episode I will be sharing about my top pick items of when you're about to start solid food for your baby or empathy and also the things that I regret buying because they end up in the cupboard collecting dust so without further ado, so let's start Okay, so my first topic is the high chair but before you get a high chair, you have to make sure that your baby can sit up straight and working your way there, I would recommend bamboo seat is the best thing to let your baby practice I got the multi seat bamboo uh, Jadi pertama itu datang ada plushnya kayak gini But once your baby grow, nanti uh, bisa dibuka, terus nanti bisa di di dalam aja and then you can actually use this to eat as well because uh, it comes with a strap like this and you can actually strap it in a regular chair so you can actually sit your baby can sit with you in a dining table and you can put them perfectly anywhere on a flat surface di meja, di lantai, di sofa, di mana mana as long as it's a flat surface so this is the high chair that I got it's Toki Trip Trap and I absolutely love it and Ezu juga suka banget he has no complaint whatsoever sitting on this chair and he eats uh, in this chair every day because aku emang selalu biasain dia harus duduk di high chair um, what I love most about this chair jadi ini gak dipake waktu saat baby aja karena this chair actually grows with your child jadi sekarang uh, untuk baby chair untuk makan nanti bisa dipakai waktu balita sampai nanti uh, Ezu udah gede pun ini masih bisa kepake karena ini bisa uh, dipakai untuk dewasa sampai beratnya 120 kilo so um, and uh, the tray, the seat thing and then I got a 5 point harness so for extra protection because Ezu really cannot stop moving when he eats dia mau berdiri-berdiri terus dia bergerak ke sana sini jadi uh, I'm so scared that he can fall off, so I got this five-point harness belt. And mmm, mm, And yeah, this is something that I would recommend you to get before starting solid because high chair is a definitely must-have. So the next item that you really need before starting solid food are bibs. I got many different kinds, but basically uh, they all has to be waterproof. This one, I use it every day. You've probably seen it in my Insta story like a thousand times. And um, yeah, I will re definitely recommend this one. I got a few different types, but mostly all of them are those with pockets like this. And this one uh, is my favorites as well. It's from Baby Milo. And Ezu is a super messy eater. I think most babies are. and. It's definitely helpful to get them like a full cover bibs like this. Bibs definitely, yes. Basic uh, eating utensils like bowls, something like this. It's like a basic small baby bowls. And it usually comes with like a rubber skit so that you know it doesn't fall off easily from the table. And as for spoon, definitely get the soft silicone ones because when uh, your baby trying to grasp, uh, they will tend to like smash their face with the spoon. So I got several actually, but they're all from silicones. This one uh, is Munchkin, the brand is Munchkin, and I got these for traveling. So it comes with a case. So make sure you have one uh, with case because you know you would be traveling with it a lot. Anyway, this is Ellipse Kits. I got this from Singapore and I don't think they have it here but you can find any brand. But this is what I use every day to fit Ezu. This is like pigeon and you can find it basically everywhere in mother care, Tokopedia or anywhere. And this is really easy to, to fit with these and I don't know why this one is especially Ezu's favorite. So. This is definitely yes for me. Like for BLW or baby let weaning, you know the they're very popular now. So basically, it's a mat but also a bowl 
for your baby to, you know, grab foods in it, finger foods, especially like uh, steamed carrots, steamed broccoli, or even uh, baby rusk. So, well, you can put them just nicely here and the baby will learn to, you know, eat from the bowl. This one works really good for me. The other things I recommend buying is actually a manual uh, baby food maker. Uh, this is from Snapkiss, but the one that is easily available here is Pigeon. They're all pretty much the same. It works uh, because it works the same. It has like a strainer, baby food masher, and then grater, and then this is like fruits uh, to squeeze lemon, oranges, and it comes with a bowl. What I love about it is it's so compact so you can travel so easily with it. And even though I mostly cook with baby food maker now, I still use them, uh, I still use this to strain, to like, you know, to grate and or to squeeze oranges and, and things like that. So definitely get one of these, it's very helpful. And you know, after your baby food becomes more complicated because you want to experiment with more ingredients, I would recommend getting a baby food maker. And I actually review uh, two of the famous brands here, that is Biaba and Baby Move. And you can actually watch the video here, I put a link so you can just press it and if you're considering to buy them, you can watch the review and hopefully it helps to make your decision. And the next one that I would recommend is actually insulated foot jars because you would be traveling with your baby and you know there come a day that you will have to feed them outside of the house I know it's tedious but you definitely need one of these to keep the food warm because if your baby is like Ezu he needs his food warm because when whenever it gets cold he doesn't want to eat it oh and by the way this is Clava Mama this is a smaller size. I got them from Mother Care Singapore, but they should have it here as well and probably a different brand or yeah, it pretty much works the same. It keeps the food warm for about four hours. And this one is uh, this is my favorite. This is uh Zoji Rushi. It's a Japanese brand. I probably uh, a lot of moms also use it and yeah, it's a lot bigger and you know inside it comes with like little compartments to keep your food warm. Definitely yes. Okay, so if you're like me and you don't cook every day, definitely invest in these containers. These small containers are my favorites because whenever I cook in big batch and then I will store them in small cubes like this. So when I actually need uh, the food prepared, I only pop like one or two cubes in, in the steamer and then ta-da, everything finished. It saves you a lot of time, a lot of mess, and I would definitely recommend getting one of these. And my favorite brand would be these ones. These are also taught. I think it's readily available everywhere. I got this. Uh, this one's from Tokopedia, actually. And I got uh, some from, from Singapore as well, but basically you can, you can find them everywhere. Get these ones though. This is definitely leak proof because I tried buying these. These are from baby cubes and I don't like them because sometimes the lid can open by itself and then it kind of spoil the food. So yeah, I, I don't I'm not a fan of these. Get these instead, even though it's more expensive, but I think this is more worth to buy. Another thing you'll need is actually meal planner. I use this little whiteboard to actually list down uh, the type of puree I have in stock because I cook in big batches and freeze them so I will have to keep track of uh, how many stocks do I have left and how many have I used. And after this, I use uh, this planner. This is pretty straightforward. It has uh, Monday to Sunday rows and breakfast, lunch, dinner and snack column. So I just write down uh, from, from this whiteboard. Uh, the type of food that Ezra will eat for the next one week. And because I use a nanny to help care for Ezu, it makes things much easier because she would, she can easily refer to this and feed Ezu whatever food I've decided to give him for the day. 
Oh, and if you want uh, the template, please let me know in the comments so I can make it downloadable for you. So the next thing I got are actually sippy cups. I got the Pigeon brand, which comes with a straw, so you can easily change um, the head from a spout to a straw. And I also got this one. These are from Brother Max. But sadly, until now, Ezu hates these. So until now, I don't use them. Instead, for drinking water, he prefers uh, a small cup. These are actually my Nespresso cup. And he always drink with these uh, until now. I'm still trying to train him, but let's see if he can drink from these in the end. Okay, now I want to share about things that you don't need to buy, so don't repeat my mistake. One of the things I regret buying is actually this. It's supposedly a lunchbox that keeps the baby food warm. It comes from Beaba and it's quite expensive because um, it's actually massive for Ezu, but hopefully he will get to use it one day. It comes with a you know, fork and spoon. And you know, the size is actually for me. <laughs> and what's interesting and why I bought it because it has like a heating pad that's supposed to keep the food warm, but sadly, it's just a marketing gimmick because I tried it and the food uh, only lasted for about 20 minutes. Instead of these, please just get you know, an insulated food jar like this. It's much more worth it in the long run and other things that i got are actually this popsicles maker well i got this for about three months now already but i haven't used them and i still in packaging the idea was to freeze my breast milk and make popsicles out of it to help Ezu soothe his teething but yeah, he hates cold food, so until now, I don't use them. Instead, I love this um, mashed fruit specifier. So you put like chunks of fruits inside here, and the baby can just like chew on this and get all the fruit juices without uh, getting, you know, choked or anything because they don't have uh, teeth yet. And as we love this, you know, I put oranges, I put uh, dragon fruits, I put a lot of things inside here and he really enjoys it because he can chew on it to soothe on his teething and, you know, get fruits juices as well. So yes, definitely get these. Oh, I got this from the supermarket actually. I, I, uh, I think the brand was Sassy. But I believe you can just get um, get them anywhere in, in baby store. This like mashed fruit pacifier. And so mummies, those are my top picks and regrets before starting solid for your baby or empathy. And hopefully uh, it can be helpful for you to, you know, consider what's what to get and what's not to get. And I will write down the brands of products that I use because I realized I didn't mention all of them in the description below so you can you know check it again later. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I'm Jennifer. And if you like the video, please let me know by clicking a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll be making more videos about motherhood. And you can also leave a comment below on what kind of videos you would like to see next or the kind of baby product you would want me to review. Until next time, mommies. Bye-bye.